so oh, hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can create that kind of footprint effect in blender with the help of the dynamic paint tool so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you guys wanted to do practice on this project file so you guys can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber and with this project file you will get this fox uh, model basically with fully rigged so make sure you download this project file and now let's start a tutorial and here you can see guys this is our project file here you can see and here we have a one uh, fox model here you can see which is totally uh, fully rigged here you can see if i'm just going to show you here so here you can see this is totally rigged okay here you can see so now let's start a tutorial so first of all what we have to do we have to just start a new project file so i'm just going to start a new project file okay so here you can see guys here we have a new project file and here you can see here we have a one uh, fox model basically okay okay and which is i have already shown you that is fully rigged and uh, here we have also little walking animation of this fox here you can see and that's look nice to me okay and you will also get this animation effect along with this project file so make sure you download this project file okay so now let's start a tutorial so for so for creating a footprint effect we are going to use the uh, dynamic paint for this so, okay so first of all we have to just add one uh, plane here so i'm just gonna add one plane something like that i'm just gonna scale this plane something like that and something like that as well yeah i think that's look great to me and first of all i just want to apply the scale okay i will just press the ctrl a and i'm just gonna apply the scale and then i'm just gonna subdivide this plane uh, server time so but before doing subdivision i just want to add one edge loop in between here so now if i'm just gonna subdivide this plane so we'll just get a perfect uh, square basically okay so i'm just gonna subdivide uh, at least that much time okay i think that much subdivision is look nice to me yeah so now what do you have to do you have to just select your plane first of all and then you have to just go to your physics properties and here you have to just add the dynamic paint and right now we are going to choose this as a canvas because that fox will be walking on this plane so that will be canvas so i will just click the add canvas and we'll just change the uh, surface type as a displays okay and right now apart from this you don't need to change any setting on this canvas part and after that what you have to do you have to just select your fox and again you have to just add the same dynamic paint effect into this fox and right now we'll just change the type as a brush because fox will be walking on this plane so that will be brush basically and that will be leave the impression okay so now i will just click the add brush and now here you can see you don't need to change any setting here as, as well okay and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to move this plane little bit upside something like that here you can see and now here you can see guys we can see little uh, footprints effect here basically and now here you can see i'm just going to play the animation so we'll just get that kind of footprint effect and that's look nice to me okay so first of all what you have to do you have to just add the subdivision surface uh, modifier into this plane so we'll just get a more smoother basically uh, effect here okay so i will just change the level of viewport at least two and we'll just do right click selecting this plane and do shade smooth something like that and now we'll just change little setting of this canvas basically so we'll just go to again our physics tab and here we'll just change the sub step at least uh, five okay and we'll just uh, increase the displacement factor at least uh, four basically okay you can also increase the max displacement but right now i think we don't need it if you want to more exaggeration and more uh, prominent in impression of your uh, model into your surface so make sure you also increase the uh, max displacement but right now displacement factor four is look nice to me so we'll just again play the animation and let's see how it look like now let's do it before we play the animation i just want to tell you that will be play a little slow because of the we have a lots of geometry into our scene that will be uh that will be lack our system a little bit but it's okay we will just figure out how it look like and we'll just get a uh, basic idea how it look like at the end basically so now let's start it so now here you can see that look nice to me and here you can see that look perfect also yeah that's look great by the way okay so here you can see that that's how you can get a very prominent impressions of uh, foot of your model basically okay and that's look nice to me okay and at the end what you have to do by the way you have to just uh, 
add the uh, snow material into this uh, plane and for that I will just use the blender kit okay so here you can see guys we have a lots of snow material here so I just want to use the this first one so I will just select my plane and then I'm just going to double click of this snow material and it will automatically apply here you can see and that's look nice to me okay and after that I just want to switch this scene into our rendering mode so here you can see that looks something like that and here you can see if I'm just going to play the animation so that will look something like that and that's look nice to me yeah and here you can see guys this is the final animation okay so that's how you can create uh, any model of footprint into your ground using this dynamic paint and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and you learn something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys